Hey, how's it going everybody? Alex here and today I want to show you how you can build your own notification provider module using Resend for your Medusa 2.0 instance. And the reason for the video is because right now the Medusa 2.0 docs aren't ready for production. So there's going to be a couple of changes that you have to make in order to actually make this work. I struggled with it, but eventually I got it working and I want to save you the hassle. So let's go ahead and build it out. On our left, we have the Medusa and resend docs. On the right, we have my VS Code instance for you to follow along. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is create a module directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our source folder and under our modules folder, create uh, a folder called resend notification. Then what we want to do is we want to create two files. We're going to create a service.ts and a index. .ts. The index.ts will come later, but let's go back to our service file. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the example that already contains a constructor. So let's paste it here. And immediately what you're going to see, there's already an issue down here with new client. The reason for it is because this has no actual logic built into it. You need to actually do it yourself. So the first thing we want to do going to our resend docs is to copy the import, paste it at the top. And then we want to, where it says pro, uh, protected client. Uh, declared as recent client, right? And now where it says this dot client, if you look at the Medusa doc, sorry, at the recent docs, it says that whenever you're going to create a new instance, you have to say new recent and pass an API key. So where it says this dot client, we say new recent and now options is giving us an error because options is not assignable to a parameter of type string. Look up here where the type is. The only option that's available to pass right now is the API key, which is exactly what we need to pass. So dot API key. And then we can just remove these comments and we're done there. Now, the next thing that we have to do is actually create a function that is going to be sending the notification uh, whenever something triggers it, right? So what we're gonna do is copy this async send function, paste it here, and you're also gonna see that we're gonna get some type issues. Where are these type issues coming from? Uh, well, essentially, I can't find them. I don't know where this type is coming from. I can't find a place to import it. So uh, beats me. So what we're going to do for now is just say as any. Um, and obviously, you lose all sort of type safetyness to it. I don't. I genuinely have no idea where these uh, types are coming from. I'm sure the Medusa team will eventually uh, give us some light on it. But for now, let's just set it as any. And now where it says return this dot client, if you go to the Medusa docs, you're not actually using, uh, for example, resend dot send, you're using resend dot emails dot send. So what you're gonna do is say this dot client dot emails dot send, and you can copy this from the function, paste it, and now there's no more issues. And right now how this logic is working, is that whenever a notification is triggered, it's going to always, always, always send this exact same email. So obviously you wanna personalize this however you want. Um, here would go all of your logic. I'm gonna keep this as basic as possible. I'm going to send the exact same email no matter what triggers it, right? But obviously do it however you would do it. And then the notification, remember that we set it as any. Uh, what I would do for now is just console.log the notification every time this um, send function is called. And then you can see what variables you can use and um, you know adapt this function to it. So uh, we're done with the service.ts file. The next thing that we need to do is move on to our index.ts file. And we're gonna copy and paste this here. I said we're done, we're not done. I forgot one more change that we have to do. In our service file, I don't wanna call it my notification provider service. I just wanna call it resend notification provider service. And let's make sure to export that properly here. Let's import it properly here and let's export it properly here. So make sure to do those changes. All I did was just rename this class and make sure that it's referencing it in our uh, service file and exporting it properly. So anyways, we're done here. And then the last thing that we need to do for the creation of the notification provider is simply uh, add it to our Medusa config file. So if you pop it open over here, what you'll see is that you have to add it here, so let's just copy this from the docs as well. I think up to here, that works. Yeah, there you go. And then I wanna remove all of these empty spaces in between, so give me one quick second. Excellent. And now you do have to make a change here. So obviously we're no longer resolving in the My Notification folder because we created the recent notification folder. And now pay close attention or you're, this is going to make you go crazy. The ID cannot 
change. You have to leave it as my notification. If there's another way to do it, somebody please enlighten me, but you have to make sure that the ID is always my hyphen notification. Don't change it. Then you have to pass some options in order to the actual notification to the custom notification, um, uh, module that you just created. So what are you going to pass? Well, if you remember back here in the service.ts file, you need to pass an option called API key. So make sure in your Medusa file where it says options, aside from the channel being email, because remember a notification doesn't just have to be an email. It can be a phone. It can be, or like, you know, SMS, it could be email, it can be whatever. We also want to pass API key and we're going to say process.env dot resend API key, which is how it's declared in my ENV file. So then you can get rid of this provider options, save, and we are officially done with the create notification provider part of this tutorial. Now we have to create the actual sending um, uh, on a subscriber. So let's go ahead and build that out. Let's go to the send notification part of the Medusa docs. And then what it's telling you to do is to create a subscriber for uh, every time a product is created. And you do that going to the subscribers folder, typing in product created.ts, copying this and pasting it. Immediately, you're going to see we already have a issue. And let me explain to you quickly what's happening here. You're just resolving the notification module that you created. That way you get all of its functionality. And instead of create, this took me a while to figure out. I don't know why I didn't just simply uh, see what it was like, what options I had. Uh, you actually have to use create notifications in order to actually trigger the send of this notification. So what's going to happen? That's the only actual change that you have to make here, just change from create to create notification. What's going to happen whenever we create a product, as you can see right here, whenever a product is created, it's always going to send this data right here, this email, this channel, this template with this data. What's inside the data? Uh, I think it's the product ID. Now you can extend this however you want. I'm going to leave it exactly the same as always. Like I said, I'm not, this isn't to make the tutorial long. So, uh, we can just hit save. And let's actually run this. That way you can see how this works. NPM run dev. Oh, NPM run dev. That's geez. NPM run dev. There you go. Sorry about that. And now let's give this a quick moment while it actually loads. Uh, let's meanwhile start going to our local host 9000 slash app. Now let's give it a second. When it tells us that we can actually go in, we'll, uh, we'll go in. Oh, I got rid of it. There you go. Give it a moment while we connect, go to our products, go to create. Let's clear this terminal and let's say test product. We're going to hit continue, continue. Let's clear this terminal one last time. Let's hit publish. And what's going to happen is this function right here is going to console log what's coming from the product created subscriber. And then it's going to trigger this email send. So let's go ahead and hit publish and see what happens. We got an error. Uh, oh, there, the product already exists. So let's say test product here, I guess, right? Let's clear this terminal, continue, continue, publish. And there you go. So this is the console log from the service.ts file. As you can see, it comes with this email, um, the channel being email, the template from where it's coming from and the product ID, which is what I had mentioned earlier. And then this function ran, I guess we can kind of test how this works. You can actually go here and let's just use my email. There you go. Save. And this is going to restart the dev server. Um, and let's go back to our products. Let's create a uh, test product with my email. And what I want to do is that way you can actually see that it actually sent. We can just say, um, oh, actually this should just work. Continue, continue, publish. Let's give it a moment. And let's go to my resend instance. And less than a minute ago, it ran. If we click onto it, it works, which is exactly what it says here to where it was sent to delivered at resend.dev. So there you go. That's how you create your own notification uh, provider using resend.